A REPORT OF A SHOOTING AT WESTERN HIGH SCHOOL FORCES A LOCKDOWN AND A MASSIVE POLICE SEARCH. WE NOW KNOW THAT REPORT WAS A HOAX AND NO ONE WAS HURT, BUT IT CERTAINLY PUT STUDENTS AND PARENTS ON EDGE THIS MORNING. WLKY HAS TEAM COVERAGE OF THE RESPONSE AT WESTERN. OUR ANN BODEN SPOKE WITH FRIGHTENED PARENTS, BUT WE BEGIN THIS AFTERNOON WITH EMILY MAHA, WHO HAS THE LATEST ON THE INVESTIGATION. EMILY. It was a tense two hours for police, parents, and students here at Western High School. You can see many of those parents lined up outside of the school waiting to pick up their kids. Officers say they got the call about an active, active shooter around 9 this morning. Shively police say two other departments, Louisville Metro Police and the Sheriff's Department, helped them search the school. We'll find a shooter or a gun, and no one was hurt. We were very fortunate today, and we had uh, a lot of response from multiple different agencies. We were able to assemble three teams relatively quickly. Each team took a, a different floor, which helps, helped to uh, speed up the process. Police say they are investigating right now to figure out who made that 911 call. They say if that call was a fake and malicious threat, they will pursue charges against the caller. Live in Louisville, Emily Maha, WLKY News. Emily, thank you. Our Ann Bowden continues our team coverage from Rockford Lane Baptist Church that were, where parents that were directed to meet police for more information. Ann, what can you tell us? Well, Karen, right now, no parents are here. Of course, they've gone to the school, but an hour ago, this parking lot was full of concerned parents who heard about an active shooter through a text message, a phone call, or an alert. And that sent panic to many parents. So, of course, as you can understand, and as they were instructed, they raced here to pray and hope for the very best for their children. I was in a meeting at work, and my son called and said it was on lockdown. So, it is frightening, and I'm glad everything's okay, and nobody got harmed. And so, that's a blessing. I was at work, and she texted me, and she was like, uh, Mama, we're on lockdown, like, for real, for real. And I texted her back, and she wouldn't respond. So then I had, I posted on, like, my, I was at work, so I'm oblivious to news and all that. So I posted on Facebook. I was like, my daughter said, Western's on lockdown. Does anybody know? Everybody started sending me these links, active shooter, this, that, and other. So I called her, and uh, she said it was in the classroom, in the dark, uh, in a corner, and the teacher was standing by the door looking out. And it's, it's sad, because you, you think your kids are safe, and they're not. You know, you want your kids to be safe and better themselves for a better life, not worry every day they get up and go to school. If you uh, get everything is okay, you get all clear, they're going to allow the students to be released for the day, and you just go to the west side of the school in the lower parking lot, you'll be able to sign them out there. How are you feeling now, Dad, that, you know, it, it looks like all is okay? I'll be relieved when I can hold him. And Karen, I think many parents would have that sentiment as Mr. Schultz did. As long as they can hold their kids today, they will feel much better. Now, as of this morning, many parents were telling me that they were getting texts and their children were actually crying, saying SWAT teams were coming into their rooms with large weapons. And it made the situation frightening. But now that they're learning that this all could have been a hoax, many are getting angry. Here at Rockford Lane Baptist Church, Ann Bowden, WLKY News. All right, scary situation, Ann. Thank you. We will bring you continuing coverage of the lockdown and continuing investigation as it unfolds throughout this newscast and throughout the day. Also, look for updates at WLKY.com.